Real quick, my friends, before we get this video started, you know I gotta hit you with the shameless plug of the video. This Friday, less than a couple days away, we are dropping WrenchWorks giveaway number seven. Make sure you guys are tuned in. This Friday, the video, the eighth, Giveaway is going to go from the 8th to the 8th, one month long, that's it. Four weeks you got left, to, or not left, but four weeks you have to get entered from this Friday. Make sure you guys are tuned in for Friday's video for all of the details. Going to be one that you're not going to want to miss. So appreciate you guys. Let's get on with today's video. Hopefully you guys all had a great and awesome 4th of July weekend. We're in the shop here getting things done, of course. Guys, we've pulled up the black first gen project just to gain a little bit better room around the vehicle. Today we're going to be knocking out some things on the truck that have been on the list for quite a while as we've been building this silver truck pretty much non-stop. So to mention the silver truck here, we did actually do a quick little modification this morning on the steering. Let's walk around here, give you guys a little bit better look. I've conveniently placed this flashlight here just to show you guys this. We went ahead and installed a Carly steering damper on the front here. Maybe we can see a little bit better right here. Maybe not, but we've got the Carly low mount steering damper installed on the silver truck. Just making this thing absolutely as perfect as possible. Guys, anyway, besides that, besides that quick announcement, the new WrenchWorks drop is less than a couple days away. It is this Friday, July 8th. Do not miss out, do not be sleeping. Michael's dragster body is in the background. I know everyone's gonna stop me right in my tracks and ask questions. He's been working on that a little bit, getting it ready to rip, getting some work done. Anyway, boys, WrenchWorks giveaway drop coming at you less than a couple days. Mark it down, get ready. It is gonna be huge. Half of it's over here beyond me. You can't see that because that would just give it all away. But anyway, boys, we're working on the black extended cab first gen. So if you guys have been following along a little bit, you guys know that we've actually got two extended cab first gens. We've got this black one, which is the one that we're gonna be keeping. And in the background over here, do a little driveway shot here. We've got the gray one that has really honestly just been holding down that piece of pavement over there. And that one is unfortunately not going to be staying with us. That was the truck we were originally going to use for this project, and we no longer are going to be using that one. We're gonna be using the black one. But one key thing is we took the transmission out of that truck. Well, we're gonna do a little transmission swap from black truck to gray truck. Well, in order to do that, we need to take the transmission out of the black truck in order to get rid of the silver truck, because we're gonna sell that one running and driving completely good, ready to go. So. That's what we're gonna work on. That's what's on the agenda. We need to pull the transmission out of this one to put in the silver one. So that is in one quick short breath here, quite an intro. We got the WrenchWorks giveaway drop. We're gonna pull the transmission out of that. We're making the silver truck as beautiful as possible. God, the, but the silver truck is just, the silver truck has forever changed my opinion on anything besides black trucks. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm having this thing about other colored trucks and it's really just really exciting to me. But anyway, boys, that's enough yapping. First step, we're gonna go ahead and seeing that we don't have lifts in the shop quite yet, we've, we've got the nothing but the trusty Daytonas and the ramps. You never know, we might change wheels and tires and put these black ones on here because we cannot turn at all with those things on there. So we're gonna use these jacks, jack it up, get to work on pulling this transmission out. Quick, uh, quick side note, quick tech tool tip here. Your under the hood light also is a under the truck light if you work on the ground quite a bit. So, got our quick ramps. You guys always wonder how they get opposite. Well, you just jack them up and you put them opposite. That way it doesn't roll forward or backwards on you. But won't be the first time we've pulled the transmission with the, with the, with the quickie ramps. Won't be the last. So here we go, transmission coming out. Went ahead 
and removed our exhaust to access our converter bolt. So we're working on getting our converter bolts out. We've got our access panel out here. Pretty much every Cummins has got their converter bolts on the passenger side of the block to transmission. A little access hole up in here. We've went ahead and worked on that. A little interesting on the first gen, they got our, the heat exchanger on the other side of the truck. So they've got transmission lines that run across the truck. You've got inlet, outlet, heat exchanger, coolers up front. So they've got these weird lines that run up front. So got to work around those. That's why I kind of went ahead and took the exhaust out to kind of gain a little bit more access. So exhaust is off and we're just working on getting this bad unit out. I used to think automatic transmissions, taking them out was the worst, but they're really not that bad. You just got to just gotta jump in there and do it, boys. So converter bolts are going to come out. That way I can just cross that off the list. We'll go ahead and loosen some of our bell housing bolts and then go ahead and get rid of the rest of our, you know, just there's a lot of bolts in this cross member. falling over and uh, not turning on great success we have our transmission out of the truck she's ready for its new home in the gray truck so we got to go ahead and steal our ramps back from this truck and we're gonna go outside and hopefully get the uh, get the silver truck the gray truck pulled in right here where the second gen is that way we can go from truck to truck put all of our original gray truck parts back in the gray truck just with the addition of the black truck transmission so here we go we got to back the second gen out and hopefully yank the gray truck in this bay right here with the help of the uh oh frank the fork truck We have exterminated any flying insects, hopefully. We got Al on the driver's seat. Say hello, Al. We've got, uh, hey, say hello. Say hello. Hello. We've got Reagan helping drive on the forklift and we're gonna try and push this thing in the shop. All right. Here we go. Are you helping, Reagan? You're gonna help steer? Ah! No! No! Come on! How does it? How does it wait till we're now inside to fly out? What? Oh, I need some insects to stop flying around. Oh my goodness. This is my worst nightmare! Going underneath a truck, possibly infested. Oh, boys. Goodness gracious. All right, let's get to work. Just so we all know who the, who the baby of the baby is and... Yeah, when it comes to flying insects, nah, nah. Count Greg out. Allie found another one. Actually, I think I'm gonna... Ay, ay, ay. Can I just put the light underneath there? You can roll around with the creeper first. Allie's gonna do a under, under truck creeper investigation before I actually get underneath there, cause I'm... Killing instrument?
friends. Well, we're catching up here a little bit later. As you can see, we've got Michelle under here helping us out. I want to go over something real quick. For some reason, the transmission in this truck and the transmission in this truck, even though they are pretty much almost the same year, for some reason have a different output speed sensor. So we're going to swap that. Luckily, I have that from uh, this original truck. So we're going to swap that out to make sure everything works as it should but we got the new transmission or brand used transmission in there we actually got brand new cooler lines from this truck because i did not take care and i ended up cutting i ended up cutting these transmission lines out because i was planning on keeping this baby forever just like always right so we've actually got the really minty trans lines from that truck in here all connected up oem factory af but we're gonna go ahead and put a new uh, trans filter in here. We're gonna swap this speed sensor and we're fluid away from firing this bad boy up. We got some more driveway access out there. We're just really, really making moves out there in the driveway, but transmission is in and we're moments away from getting this bad boy rolling out of here. All right, time to fire this bad boy up. We've got juice. We may have jumper cables and the jump box on it because I don't know, sounds, looks like somebody may have left the, uh, the hazards on last time it was uh, powered up, which was quite a while ago, but we got first gen helping out first gen here. We've got some Amsoil transmission fluid going in her. We're getting ready to fire her up for the first time in, I don't know, when, how long do you think? I've never seen it run. I don't have a hat on, so they can't, I can't, this tr can't turn around and have them see me, so they gotta see you. This was before you? For, like really? Oh man, we're going back a couple years then. This might even be like two years. Resurrected from the dead. First gen runs after two years. Oh my gosh. Oh, I was gonna get a hat and then fire it up. Well, my friends, this is why leaving projects and vehicles sitting for a while uh, is, a, is, a, is a dangerous thing because you forget about the things that you do and one thing that I may or may not have forgotten about is this truck did have a security system in it that I had taken out. Well, in order to start this truck, I had never fixed a wire. That's basically the main power wire from the ignition to the fuse panel, uh, which was our problem the whole time. And I may have totally forgot about may. it. I may have totally, you know, like I, it's, it's like a maybe, but definitely. And I, and I did forget about that because every time I would go to start this thing, I had to get up underneath the dash and like click these two wires that grounded stuff together and then it would start. Well, two years later, I may have forgotten that trick and now we were chasing a problem that was never really there. And Michael, Michael may or may not want to try and open hand slap me in the face right now, but uh, you know, you'll, hey, Michael, you know what they say? I'll give you one guess on what they might say. I have no idea. You, you might get that on the big jobs. You may have that on the big jobs. Is, there, is this supposed to be a little job? This was supposed to be a little job. I have thoroughly interrupted Michael from his important task of working on the 05. So if, uh, if you guys want to know, you know, just what I'm really, really good at, it's, uh, it's distracting Michael to help me with these things that just, you know, I'm just sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Uh, well, the o, the O5 is looking great. I, I would show you guys, but I can't. It's it's just too good. It's too good. So we're almost we're almost ready to refire this thing up. Check transmission fluid. Run through the gears. We're almost. It's almost. It was supposed to be almost done a while ago, but uh, you know what? We're getting there, boys. Okay. It's gonna start this time. I think.
confirmed. 100% confirmed. Second, right there. Third. Ready for it? Ready for it? I think that was it. That was it right there? <laughs> yeah. And these, these transmissions. You're used to a shift kit. Wow. See, we can confirm. There it goes. Back in third. We officially have all the gears, boys. <laughs> we have a running and driving mint unit ready for one of you guys. Is that a good sales pitch right there? It's top notch. Top notch. Mint first gen unit ready to go. He's a smooth thing. driver. You know, the tires may need some updating. They are from 52, but she starts, she runs and drives. What else could you, what else could more could you want? Got adjustable mirrors. <laughs> downshift I did it's nice brakes work the dash is a multi-piece dash design we got our neighbor friends here I said it's okay if we turn around in there freshly uh, concrete boy she's ready she is a certified ripper Got grandma's couch option seats in this thing. Oh yeah, these are nice. Nice lumbar support. We already took the front and rear bumper off for you guys to put whatever bumper you want on it. Oh yes, it's so clean. Well, there you have it. Our barn find first gen is back up and running. She is ready to go. So uh, that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. Uh, super pumped to get the donor transmission back in this thing, back up and running. Again, guys, we already have replaced this truck, so there's no real need to hang on to it and much better in the hands of one of you guys. So just a brief little background on this truck for those of you guys who don't remember. We bought this truck from a gentleman who pulled it out of a barn from a older couple that had uh, since passed on. So he had never really driven it. It had been sitting in a barn that he acquired um, and then had sold it. He had never been driving it. It had been sitting for quite a very, very, very long time. We have since then taken it up and down the road once before we pulled the transmission and once after that. We don't really have any history with the truck as far as maintenance goes, as far as everything else. It's got 100,000 miles on it. It is a pretty mint unit, but I can't really like give you the full Greg A stamp of approval on every little nut and bolt on this truck. I know that it runs and drives. I would not consider this truck absolutely perfect by any means, but it is a very solid low mileage first in truck that will clean up very, very well. Mechanically, like I said, even though it may not look like it, it the truck has been sitting quite a while. We're going to clean it up. We're going to make it absolutely really, really nice. Uh, but again, if you guys are interested in this, send me an email, send me a DM. Here's how it's it's gonna work shoot me an offer of what you guys want to pay for it I am NOT going to probably make a price just shoot me with what the shoot me the highest of what you want to pay for it and I'll see if it works for me or not so that's where we're kind of at but anyway boys she's up for grabs she's on to the next one I'm super happy to kind of like free up some driveway space and get the black first gen build rolling so we take the tr first we've taken the transmission out next step we're gonna get ready for metal by Charlie to come and help us do the four-wheel drive swap everything else but super pumped thank you guys for watching make sure you guys are tuned in for wrenchworks giveaway number seven coming at you this Friday less than a couple days away we're dropping it. Make sure you guys are ready. It's gonna be absolutely phenomenal. You guys are gonna absolutely love it. I'm so 
pumped to get this giveaway rolling. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys hit the love the <laughs> Make sure you hit the thumbs up button before you leave. Subscribe if you're not already. We'll see you in the next video. See you. Bye.